What does this, this, and this have in common? Well, they were all created using AI, which is what I'm going to show you how to use to create these unique tiles, which we can join together to create really stunning looking book covers. And also I'm going to show you an interesting way of using these patterns within the interiors of a book to create quite unique looking interiors. And then the third part of this video is I'm going to show you some patterns that I've created and the prompts that I've used as a starting point to creating your own books. Now, the software we're going to be using today is Midjourney. Now, I did a recent video on creating coloring books using Midjourney, which goes through the initial steps of setting up Midjourney and creating an account. And I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description if you're completely new to this process. So the first thing we're going to need to create is the actual tile, which we'll then use to create the patterns in our book. So we're in mid journey. And the first thing we're going to need to do is to create a prompt. So for this, we're going to put in vintage botanical art watercolor pattern. Now we need to follow this by putting two minus signs followed by the word tile, and then we can hit enter. Now we just need to wait a little while for our image to be created. Now here I've put botanical art, but you could replace that with almost anything. Uh, and I'll show you an example I did uh, previously where I put in the word shark instead of botanical art, and it looks really good. So here we have our designs, and Mid Journey has basically given us four tiles that we can use. So it's a case of just choosing one that you prefer. In this case, we're going to choose this fourth tile. So we click on U4, which means upscale image number four, and it will create a larger image of this. Okay, so we'll click on that, and then I'm gonna click on open in browser. I'm gonna right click on this and hit save image as. Then it's gonna download that to the computer. Then next, we go over to Canva. Now today I am using Canva, but you can use what I'm gonna show you today in any image editing software, be it Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Illustrator, Photoshop. You could probably even do what I'm going to show you in PowerPoint and Keynote. So we need to click on Create a Design, top right, then Custom Size. Now I'm going to choose 17.43 by 11.25. That's a size I've already created before. If this is completely new to you, then I suggest going and watching my book tutorials playlist, which I'll leave a link to again in the description below. This is basically going to be more of a tutorial on creating the patterns rather than going through all the steps of creating the cover. So we're going to click on that for our size. Over the left side, I'm going to click on Uploads, and I'm just going to click on a book cover template that I've already downloaded from KDP Help. And this is just going to serve as a guideline for our cover. Now I'm going to right click on that, hit Lock, and then Lock Position Only. Just saves us a lot of uh, headaches later on. Then left-hand side, click on Elements, under lines and shapes, click on the square, and then don't worry about the color at the moment. So I'm just gonna drag that to the top left-hand corner, then drag down, enlarge that, and just drag it across to that purple dotted line. Okay, reduce the size. Now we need to import our image that we've downloaded from Midjourney. Left-hand side, click on uploads. Then all you need to do is just take that image that you've downloaded and drag it into the uploads box. Once that's uploaded, just click on it. So now what we can do is just reduce that in size and we're going to drag that to the top. It doesn't really matter the position of it at the moment. So I'll enlarge that so we can see what we're doing. Now what you need to do is hold down option or I think that would be alt on a Windows keyboard and click the left mouse button and then just drag across and you'll find it will just duplicate that image. So we can just drag and you'll see that Canva, once it gets to the edge of the image, we'll click into place. And again, option, left click of the mouse and just drag to create a third image. And again, that will click into place. So now we have our three images and you can see how these all join together nicely. So select these three images, holding down shift and then click on group. And now holding down option, left click of the mouse again, just drag downwards to duplicate that row. And again, it will click into place. And again, option, left click of the mouse and just drag downwards. So now we've got our pattern. Now just click on one row, holding down shift, click on the next row and the next row. And again, at the bottom here, you can see the option of group, just click on that. So now we've got our whole tiled pattern. 
And so we can place this over the right hand side of our template, which is going to be the front of our book. And again, we can increase the size, reduce the size as we wish. And then we can just drag that to one side. Now you can see this is overlapping what is going to be the back of our book. So just click on this yellow square, right click, hover over layer and click on bring forward. So now you can see it places this back of the cover over our front cover, which is what we want. So right click on that, click on lock and click lock position only. So that won't move. So now we've got our pattern. And as I said, you can increase that, decrease that, whatever you wish. So next, we just need to add some extra elements, uh, which is basically some text on the uh, on the cover of our book. On the left hand side, click on elements. Now I want a brush stroke. So I'm just going to put in brush stroke and we can see under graphics, we've got all these options here and I'm going to choose this pale blue one here. I'm just going to drag that in position. So this is going to be the background for our text. Now we're going to change the color of this. So at the top here, click on the colored square. And on the left hand side, we've got this very useful feature in that Canva picks out the dominant colors within our main image. So we can use something that complements our book cover nicely. So I think I'm going to choose this green color. Now holding down option, left click of the mouse, just drag downwards and maybe one more. OK, now select each of those images and hold down shift like so and then group together. OK, so now we've got a, a background over which we can write our text. Left hand side, click on text, click on add a subheading, move this over our background, double click on it and I'm just going to type in moms. So we just need to change the font for this. So just double click on the text at the top, click on the font options. And for this, we're going to use one called Brittany. And it's a free font. So you can do this in the free version of Canva. So it's going to click on that and we're going to enlarge that ever so slightly. So it's going to drag, move that into position. Now, like we've done before, option, left click of the mouse, just drag downwards. And then here we're going to type in journal. OK, and now we're going to position those hold down shift, select both and again, just enlarge. And then we can move them both into the center of our green box. Now I want to change the color of this text. So at the top, click on text color and we're just going to choose white. Now for the back cover of the book, we're going to change the color of this also. So it's going to click on it and where it says at the bottom here, lock, just click on that to unlock it. And again, to unlock Then at the top, click on the colored square. And again, I think we're going to choose that green that we did for that front cover. So now basically you've got what I think is quite an attractive looking cover for, in this case, it would be a journal for mom. But you could use this technique to create a cover for any type of journal notebook that you wanted, be it a planner, gratitude journal, coloring book, puzzle book, whatever. You get the idea of just creating that pattern, which is what this video is about. Now, in order to save this as a PDF, it's very simple. Top right, click on share, click on download, drop down menu, click on PDF print, select flatten PDF, and then just download to the computer. That's now ready to upload to KDP. So here's another interesting use of these images. So say, for instance, you've created this mom's journal and we're going to create our interior. We're going to go back over to Canva. We're going to hit create a design custom size. Now we're going to create our page. This is going to be 8.625 by 11.25. Again, that's not the main point of this video. It's just to show you an example. So what we can do is go over to uploads. That image that we've just uploaded, we can click on it. Now, the next thing we can do is I could create that tile pattern that we've just seen, or we could just enlarge this on the page. At the top, click on edit photo where it says filters, click on see all scroll down and we've got these mono options and we can have a look at what each one looks like. And I think I would choose something like this and then at the top select transparency and just turn the transparency down. Then next what we can do is easily create the lines for a page like this. Click on elements 
under lines and shapes, just click on the horizontal line. I'm going to drag that just off the screen and then just drag across and you'll see you can move it up and down, but it clicks into the horizontal position. Then I'm just going to move that to near the top and then adjust the line color. Instead of this black, I want a gray, actually a slightly darker gray. Then holding down option, left click of the mouse, you can drag downwards like so. And when it gets to the width or depth that you like, let go of the mouse and then hit command D or control D and it will duplicate that line at the same distance as the other lines. So now quickly got a page with this nice background, almost similar to a watermark type background for the page. And it's easy to create further pages just by hitting on duplicate page. And so you can create pages with a similar design to the front cover of your books, which I think just makes your books even more unique and you know more chance of attracting a customer. So let's have a look at some designs that I created and the prompts that I used. As I said, we've got this vintage botanical art watercolor pattern and you could replace botanical art with anything you like. I did the same thing for sharks and I created this pattern. I then went on and added vivid colors to this and created this. So again, you could do this with different types of animals or insects or particular types of plants or fruit and create many different types of designs. Here's a prompt I used, Zentangle Thick Lines Pattern. And it created these really stunning designs. And here's a book cover I created using those tiled patterns. And I just added this text here, which I actually got from Creative Fabrica. So instead of Zentangle, you could replace that with something like Mandala or any other type of pattern that you could possibly think of. Here's another one, pink and green punk doodle pattern. <laughs> so some quite interesting designs there. Here's another one I did for cute kawaii pink and blue pattern. So again, you could just change the colors. You could remove the word cute, see what happens. That's the beauty of mid journey using AI. You can change the terms to whatever you like and create some really interesting patterns. And lastly, here's one that I really like. I put in comic food illustration pattern, vivid colors tile and got these. So maybe if you were creating a food related journal, you could create these uh, very vivid, bright colored patterns. So there's some suggestions. It's really up to you to use your creativity to add different terms and create all sorts of wonderful designs. Now, as I said, if you are new to this and have no idea yet how to create a journal, notebook, any type of book to publish on Amazon, then what I suggest doing is checking out this book tutorials playlist here. Or if you want to know how to use Mid Journey to create a coloring book interior, check out this video here. Thank you very much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.